Well, these stupid ass dealerships are at it again. You know, a month or so back, I made a video trying to defend these guys and say, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater because they're making mistakes now. Dude, they, they've taken it too far. They're in the news again with insane markups over MSRP all over again. You guys are right. Let's ditch it. Let's kill them. I mean, I, I saw two today, 2023 Corvettes from this certain dealership, Mack Hike Chevrolet. It requires a $6,000 non-refundable deposit. Okay, I kind of get that because they are specially ordered cars. But then the vehicle will be sold for over $90,000 over MSRP. That's all just straight pocket into the money of these greedy assholes who run these dealerships. Another one with the new Nissan Z, which by the way is an entry level sports car. The adjusted market value, oh, first of all, MSRP is pretty fair on this thing, $54,915. A little bit higher than I would want to pay for that car, but it's, it's, it's okay. For what it is, it's kind of on point. The markup is more than the MSRP is. They marked it up $73,881 on top of that. The total selling price is $129,991. The thing cost as much as freaking turbo Porsches. This is ridiculous. This is bullshit. And this is how enthusiast cars die, by the way, because the manufacturers make these cars. They send them off to these asshole dealers. These asshole dealers then are apparently holding the cars hostage and selling them for insane markups. Nobody's buying these freaking things. And the one or two schmucks who actually do so that they can have Instagram clout, good for you idiots, you're screwing up the whole market. But these cars don't sell. And then the manufacturers go and they look at their sales numbers and go, well, gosh, guys, I mean, the new Z just didn't sell. We should stick to making Altimas. And that's how you end up with flaccid, shitty cars. Dealers, fucking stop it. Cut it out or else you guys are going to have to go away. The manufacturers are going to push you out. Either they're going to force you out or they're going to yank your dealer's license. You know what? What I would like to see, let's do manufacturer-owned dealerships only and make them for the most part service centers with a couple of salaried uh, sales guys instead of commission. I don't know. That's all I got.